So, I wanted to tell you guys about the time I got invited as a guest judge for a cook-off. Between a really popular British pop trio, New Hope Club, you might or might not have heard of them before, but you probably heard of one of their songs before. The cook-off was between them and some local TikTok creators. Universal Music Singapore approached me and basically said like, Hey man, you seem to know what you're talking about. Do you want to host and judge one of our events? Me? I have never judged any competition before. I hate judging. It's just a bit too much to tell someone about what they have done face to face. I can never go up to someone, even in my previous job, and say like, this is garbage. Even if it is garbage. And on top of that, I rarely ever go out or speak to anyone. So I told them, yeah, sure, why not? Let's do it. Easy peasy, let's do it. No doubt, no doubt, no doubt. I'm not quite sure why I said yes, because it spawned a lot of anxiety, which led into a lot of homework being done. The event also happened to be on my birthday, but that wasn't really an issue, since I didn't really have anybody to celebrate with. <laughs> anyway, the day came, and I went down nice and early, nearly two hours before the event. It was at ABC Cooking Studio at Funan, and I really wanted to fill out the space before the event started. I kind of wanted to finish feeling nervous before the event starts. I said my hellos to the contestants, did some small talk, did a dry run with the organizers with only like 7 people asking me, are you nervous? Of course I'm bloody nervous. But I told them, nah, I'm, I'm good, I'm good. All the while I'm trying to psych myself, I'm trying to own the space mentally. Like I'm telling myself, this is my kitchen, this is my party. Even though of course it isn't, but when you think like that, you get the confidence to run the whole thing. Just when I was in the corner, running the script over and over again in my head, I heard screaming. I turned, and there they were. Three really good looking British guys. Surrounded by three to four guys in black shirts that you don't want to mess with, along with two to three media people, and one guy holding what seems to be a cinema camera. All my anxiety flooded back into me again, and all I could think of was Who the hell uses a red camera for vlogging? That's so overkill. That's like 20k a piece. Without the lens, and the file size is gonna be too huge to f So, the event kicked off. I did the intro bit. Still kinda nervous, but whatever. Just speak to the camera. I've been speaking, so I've been speaking to the camera forever now. Although, I sometimes get distracted when asking them questions. Because they're so good looking. <laughs> It's a bit ridiculous, but I don't think I've ever interacted with someone so handsome before. The cook itself was pretty chill. I just went around snooping on what everyone else is doing. There were 5 teams. 2 to 3 teams were food creators, or at least have some cooking experience. And it definitely showed they move faster and more efficiently than the others. All of them had 1 hour to make Hainanese chicken rice, a really popular local dish. All of the ingredients were prepped and weighed for the most part, so a lot of it was just arranging and combining. This meant that everyone used the same ingredients and the same amount. Something to take note on for later on in the story. Another funny thing that happened was, George asked me for help to identify which was the cooking wine. I opened up a tub of dark looking liquid, gave it a smell, and said, uh, this, this is the cooking wine. The cooking instructor, all of them had a cooking instructor with them to guide them along, came from the other side of the table and said this is soya sauce she took another tub with a colorless liquid and said this is the cooking wine <laughs> towards the end of the cook everyone was slicing up the chicken and some of them turned out raw including new hope clubs i got so excited like my time has come i can finally do the the it's fucking raw but their manager signaled me saying Meaning that we won't be presenting New Hope Club's version Kind of weird champ because the event is the cook-off between them and the local creators I need to man in black the audience into forgetting the premise of the event <laughs> Sure, sure, no doubt It's not like the people tuning in are chicken rice enthusiasts Anyway, the cook came to an end And I got to do the 3 Two, one, hands up, everyone stop cooking. I clapped like three times before realizing that I was the only person clapping. Which like, what the hell? Do, do you guys not watch any MasterChef at all? It's, it's like the thing to do. All of the participants brought their dishes up. 
New Hope Club and I shared a few comments on about how everything looks. And just as we were about to tuck in, I get the from their media person. The meant that New Hope Club will not be tasting any of the chicken rice. And then came the worst part of the night. I'm not sure why in all of the dry runs and mental simulations, did I not think about the judging part? Only after the <laughs> did I realize the task in front of me. I have to choose the best plate of chicken rice from five plates that use exactly the same ingredients. All while eating in front of like 50 people in the studio with New Hope Club in the back, the Universal Music team, the TikTok Singapore team, the local TikTok creators, the security guys in black, the media people, the guy with the super expensive camera, the fangirls peering in from outside of the cooking studio, and only about a thousand people watching from stream. I slammed my face into the food and tried to find something to say. But like Mr. Anderson in the Matrix, I just couldn't. I'm someone who cannot form food opinions quickly. Like the best burger in Singapore series, those scripts take like 3 hours to write. And especially when they use the same ingredients, the carryover taste from one plate to another is way too much. It was like trying to find the shiniest mirror in a mirror maze. So I choked. I didn't say anything when I should be commenting and keeping the show running. I just stood there in dead air eating chicken rice. I tried my hardest to snap myself out of it. Like, just pick something that stands out, Eldrick. You're not gonna form a holistic food opinion. So I picked the winner. And I picked the one team that had the least amount of cooking experience. I'm pretty sure it's their first time cooking. The reason being, they sort of burned their ginger and garlic when frying the rice, and that gave it a very strong aroma. If it was judged on its own, the ginger and garlic taste would be too strong. But when I'm tasting 5 plates of chicken rice back to back, the strong scent really alleviated the richness. Immediately after I gave the verdict, I kept questioning myself. Fortunately, my outro autopilot kicked in thanks to the past year live streaming on TikTok, and I was able to close out the event. New Hope Club left soon after, and a few people actually came up to me and say good job hosting, which was very nice. But yeah, that was my birthday this year. <laughs> <laughs>